suddenly para nag tick na lang sa'yo na ah maybe I can do this but was it before before that I mean way before that did you always have this entrepreneur uh, mindset or was it something na lang din na that came up because of the pandemic uh actually I've always been a little bit indecisive with regards to my career Um, I guess that's one of the reasons why I took up psychology as well. Para at least broad siya. Marami akong options yeah. after, you know, pwedeng uh, HR, pwedeng clinical, pwedeng um, school setting. So that's one of the reasons then uh, I took psychology. And then for a time, I wanted to do clinical kasi um, I'm a people person. So like um, I thought na parang clinical would also translate to a good career kasi you know, just um, directly talking to clients and stuff. And then I realized ko parang medyo mabigat pala yung clinical. Maybe HR na lang since sa street naman, HR parang ganun ACM, na rin yung right? ACM. Yeah. So naisip ko, maybe HR. And then nag-OJT ako, I didn't really enjoy um, What HR. Oh, okay. I was uh, an intern at St. Luke's. Um, it was... <clears throat> an okay experience but th- after my internship i learned that okay maybe hr is not for me mm-hmm. um and then yun nga uh, magic also kind of led me to the whole uh, radio events and all that um and then i had to pivot again because the pandemic happened so at that time i just told myself okay um as a person medyo magastos kasi ako so especially the pandemic hit you know time to save time to learn how to you know manage finances and stuff tapos along those lines i got into stocks mm-hmm. um started researching stocks and then i found myself particularly enjoying when i research about what makes companies unique mm-hmm. um kasi i'm not much of a trader actually i'm much more of an investor so i look at you know fundamentals more than the technicals mm-hmm. and then well i just super enjoy like let's say the story of how amazon grew how the story of um facebook grew and then well i just study like what makes like let's say chipotle so great well how come like pagkain lang naman ng chipotle how are they so um successful and stuff So, wala, those little things I find myself reading so much about. And then, sakto, sports cards uh, started becoming popular. I, I started seeing my friends get into it. And then, one thing led to another. So, you could say, like, mm-hmm. the thought or the background was already, you know, at the back of my head. And then, wala, yun nga, a light bulb moment just one night. And then, what I thought, oh, okay. Oh, pwede nating gawin to sa sports cards parang gawin nating stocks kasi mahal-mahal ng sports cards. And then uh, as soon as I thought that to myself, to, uh, I got up from bed and then I just walked around in my room for four or five hours just thinking like okay, pwede to, pwede natin to gawin. Oh, paano 'yun? Ganun. And then nagulat mm. na lang ako umaga na and <laughs> uh, from then on I just started executing now from there what was really the objective when you started mpp it was to make the hobby much more accessible for everyone because i was shocked how um big the roi in sports cards could be because nasana ako sa stocks na parang you're not going to get like Um, let's say you're not gonna double your money in one night yeah. in stocks. Like it's a process, talaga. If you're trading, bakas sabi natin kaya. Pero if you're investing, um, it's a long process. Mm-hmm. And then when I saw sports cards, nagita ko ha, totoo ba to na good game lang si Luca? <laughs> like yeah, yeah. ganon na kaagad yung tumataas yung pressure ng cards. So I was thinking like, okay, that's that's something. And then I started researching more, and then the one thing that I saw was that, okay, um, sports cards could be very profitable, but the biggest issue that I saw was that not everyone 
um, could or would be willing to spend, like, like let's say, um, fifty thousand pesos on just one card, mm-hmm. like you know, like, um, because well, depending on the card, but like if you're talking about the staple cards, um, usually they're up there in price. Yeah. And I thought, na okay, like let's say, sige, ako, kaya ko naman siguro, but like I'm pretty sure na not everyone like who would like to get into sports cards hindi naman siya ganun kadali na maglabas lang ng ganun kalaking pera mm-hmm. so i thought okay there has to be another way and um you know you could always settle for like low end cards yeah. but it's not sometimes if you're thinking about cards as an investment you have to really go for um certain cards so i thought okay maybe we can um like make a system na parang ambagan ambagan lang yung mga tao for sports cards para you know hindi siya ganun kabigat kung ano yung kaya mong ilabas na pera yun lang yung ilalabas mo tapos until makabili kayo ng isang card and that's the objective of MVP ever since and up until today even though we're um in a different direction we're moving towards a different direction like that's the main purpose that investing shouldn't be such a scary thought actually it should be something that we welcome and you know to each his or her own if you want to do stocks if you want to do crypto or if you want to do sports cards go ahead but that's what mvp is for for sports cards we're here to you know make it more affordable make it more accessible so that you know hindi mo kailangan maglabas ng 50,000 and everyone gets a piece of the pie